Similar triangles can be tricky to identify and even trickier to apply to solve a problem. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the rules of similar triangles and we're going to practice with a problem. So looking at these two triangles I've drawn here, they are similar triangles. And you can know this because one triangle is just a smaller version of the other one. So we have a three, four, five, and then the other one is a six, eight, ten. So you'll notice on the bigger one, every number is just twice as big. So for similar triangles, they're kind of like Word documents where you put the picture and you stretch it to make it bigger and everything is in proportion. So in this one, the bigger one is twice as big in every aspect as the other one. So this one has a two to one ratio and you need to know that to solve problems. So you could also say it's one over two one to two. So most likely in a problem, they're not going to tell you that the triangles are similar or give you the information with the sides to find it. Instead, they're going to make you use angles. So here's how you can identify if triangles are similar. The first way is with angle angle, meaning if two angles are the same in the triangles, they're similar triangles. So if we knew this angle was blue here, this one was the blue here. And we also had a right angle in this one, right angle in this one, because they have the same angles, we know they're similar triangles, which means they're not the same, but they're scale versions of each other. So we can use the information in one triangle and scale it up to the other one to find another piece of information about that one. Let's jump into the problem. In the figure above, BD is parallel to AE. So if they're parallel, we know that this angle here is the same as this angle here. So that's one angle that's in common. What is the length of CE? So in this problem, we have a small triangle in the bottom left and then a big triangle that's the whole triangle that also encapsulates that smaller triangle. So in this case, we know that this angle here is shared by both of them. So the big triangle has that blue angle and the little triangle has that blue angle. They also have these right angles, so that's angle angle similarity. We know they're similar. So again, in this problem, we're looking for CE, which is this big side here. And in similar triangle problems, you usually have to use the other triangle and then scale it up to the other triangle. So let's find what would correspond to this big side in the smaller triangle, which would be this one down here. So I'll say that's Y. So to find this one, we can use Pythagorean theorem because we have these two other sides. So we do eight squared plus six squared equals Y squared, and we get Y equals 10. So now that we know the small side is 10, we can figure out what the big side is if we figure out what the ratio is between these two triangles. And to do that, we can use any two sides that are similar on the small one and the big one. So on the small one, we know this right side is six. On the big one, we know it's 18. So we know the ratio is six over 18. And that's gonna equal the same ratio for the red sides, which is the hypotenuse. So we know the small hypotenuse is 10 and the big one is X. And now we can just solve this equation to find X. So first thing I'll do is reduce this fraction to one over three. That'll be over 10 over X. Then we'll cross multiply and we get X equals 30. And our answer is 30.